Good evening. Welcome to the uh, Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals. We have four cases tonight, and lucky for, for us, they're all variances. So they're all going to be considered on the same premise, on the same uh, uh, criteria. And that was in your application. There were eight questions, I believe, or seven questions that you looked at and responded to of why you want this variance. The way we operate is uh, we're going to have a roll call and we're going to be um, uh, calling each of the cases in order as they were received and they will ask for someone to speak for the case. And after we hear that and other people who wish to speak for the case, we will then ask if anyone would like to speak against or have supportive uh, neutral type of comments for your case. Then we will close the public portion of it and debate and uh, work on it uh, as according to those eight or seven uh, variants criteria that we have to deal with. So uh, with that said, uh, in, oh yeah, one other thing is that you do not, uh, we will not have in record anyone that doesn't go up and talk uh, and swear on the oath, or not swear, but uh, read the uh, affirmation that uh, you're telling us the truth and that. So uh, with that said, would you do roll call? Yes. Mr. Pete? Here. Mr. Huntsman? Yes. Mr. Hammer? Here. And Mr. Martin Bartenzik? Here. Okay. Uh, the first case. <clears throat> so the first case is uh, case number 858. I'm just going to quickly read the public hearing notice. Yes. <clears throat> so a, a request was made by property uh, by property owners Adam Hyatt and Catherine Moore Hyatt for the property located at 2090 Bandit Trail, uh, parcel ID B03000200320. <clears throat> the nature of the request is to seek a variance from the requirement that fences may not exceed a height of three feet when located in a required front yard setback. The parcel is currently zoned RPUD. Uh, the applicant desires to erect a fence in the required front yard setback, which will exceed the allowable height. Thank you. Does staff have a report? Uh, we do have a short staff report for this one. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, the applicant in this case uh, are seeking a variance from Article 18.062 which limits the height of fences and required front yard setbacks to three feet. They want to build a six foot tall fence in their front yard setback or required front yard. Um, so for a little bit of context, and let me pull down here, give you the layout here. So <clears throat> the parcel in question is a corner lot with two frontages. Um, we know we've dealt with these uh, before as corner lots. Uh, as is common in these lot configurations, one of the front yards functions more like a side or a rear yard in what we would normally consider when looking straight on at a home. Um, yet it is considered a front yard because it has frontage on a road. Uh, in this case, the applicant is asking for a variance in the area of one frontage, which is not adjacent directly to any intersection. Um, Based on the plot plan submitted, staff does not believe that the proposed fence height and location would cause any negative impacts on traffic visibility. That's typically our main concern with fences and required front yards over a certain height is that they might impede, um, uh, it might impede the uh, line of sight for vehicles traveling along the road. We don't see that as an issue here. The applicant has stated that the primary reason for requesting this variance is to fence in a large dog, which would easily scale the allowable three foot fence. Um, for recommendations, staff recommends approving this variance request. Staff does not anticipate any negative traffic or visibility consequences from the proposed fence. And I'd be glad to answer any questions. I do also have um, a couple of photos of the property. 
I know that's something that's been requested. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, now this was the day of our um, previous, as you can see, it was the, the day of our previous meeting. Um, went out and just took photos of the house uh, as it appears right now. Um, and the applicant might be able to talk a little bit more about this. I was able to determine that the applicant had kind of put these sections of like bamboo slats or whatever you want to call them to kind of extend the height of their fence. Um, there, you know, many of them are blown down or falling down. It was, it was definitely a temporary solution. That is not the style of fence that they're hoping to achieve. Um, I can show you that in the packet as well. Um, so yeah, let me, I want to find the is one. Is that the side yard? Uh, that that, this one? Is that the other front yard we're looking at right now? Yeah. I believe it is, yes. Okay, so the neighbor behind him? Here? Yeah, we can't see, but okay. So <coughs> is, that, is that fence 10, 10 foot? Uh, the, 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 and they, are they trying to get closer to the sidewalk or the same place? No, I believe they want to have the fence in the same place, but they That's just want it to be six feet tall. Right? I'm sorry? That looks like a lot more than 10 foot. Uh, this thing says 20 foot foot. It says the easement is total distance from the road to the house is 35 and a half, and they want to come out 24, which means 10 foot easement. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll let the applicant explain so if there's a discrepancy there. If there no. Yeah, and just to point out, the, uh, it'll be 12 feet from the edge of the property line, which is the minimum distance allowed in the code. Um, You're talking about the back property line? Yeah. I'm talking about the, the property line that uh, fronts Sulky Trail. Which is, okay. which is this property line here, any okay. property line, the fence has to be okay. 12 feet back from. Okay. Um, so it would be, in this case, exactly 12 feet back. What are you calling a property line? On yeah. the side of the sidewalk? That is where the property line begins. Okay. At the edge of the sidewalk? Different. At the edge of the sidewalk closest to the house, yes. Inside the edge of the sidewalk, 12 feet. Okay. When we had a discussion once before, where, where's, where's the property line? Not more than in the middle of the street, somewhere that's, that's interesting. more than once before. Yeah, I want to. Okay, so yeah. here's where I wanted to show you as, as best I could the kind of distance you've got between the edge of the fence here and the intersection about right here. Um, this is what I say when we don't see a line of sight issue. Um, right. You know, if you're in a car here, you should be able to see over here. Is that fence that's there right now, is it three foot? Uh, four. Yeah, four foot. Oh, it's four foot. So okay, so they had a previous variance on that, evidently? I don't believe so. Um, okay. 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 <coughs> um, and then I've got one more here just to get it. Yeah, so here's a view. This is basically the where the sidewalk mm -hmm. apex curve is, or whatever you want to call it. So, again, to show you kind of what we mean when we've determined we don't see a line of sight issue. Okay. All right, thank you. Any other questions for me? Love the pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, do we have anyone wishing to speak for the case tonight? Okay, if you'd come up and read the affirmation. Let's see. I, Catherine Hyatt, solemnly swear that the. Do I have to hold my hand? Or no. I solemnly swear that the statements I am about to make about the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Thank you. Thank you. So, can I just speak freely? Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, must, yeah. Well, we have a dog <coughs> named Clemmy uh, who has now just turned three. She's a very anxious dog she's 60 pounds um, golden doodle um, we she's she's her anxiety you know is is we've tried all sorts of training methods we've tried negative things we've tried uh, uh, some medications and we've tried uh, positive which is really to me ridiculous to give food while people get my daughter has done that but anyway it seems she's very aggressive 
when she charges the fence, a lot of people do love to walk in our neighborhood, and she charges the fence fairly and just stays with it. it it's very aggressive. It, it's it seems we, you know, people of course have said bad dog, and you know, and understandably, that's what I can see why they feel that way. The worst thing is she seems to do it worse with little kids, but and you can't even imagine a little kid would try to stick her hand through a picket fence or or his hand because this dog is acting crazy, and and I I don't I don't know she hasn't bit anyone like in this aggressive kind of attack thing. Uh, he did. One time you came to my house, you saw she she did kind of she goes berserk. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand this type of dog, but um, we don't seem to be able to fix it. I was hoping by three it would be better, you know, than two. And she spayed, of course, and all that stuff. But um, I guess what I noticed about her, I guess she's got psychological issues that we've had her since a pup. We did. I don't know what happened at, from the place yesteryear acres we got her from. It was. Uh, but at any rate, she she sometimes forgets herself when she gets in this. She just gets just, I don't know, all revved up. And she has occasionally, you know, in the, you know, she's kind of like nipped me, not meaning to bite, but just this sort of barking. The I, Maybe it's in the barking that, you know, and it's it's not like anything, blood's drawn, but it's just, that's what I worry would happen to a little kid. I just, uh, you know, so that's, so, and then we try, we've tried so many different things. We, um. Those, those, uh, the first thing we tried was a partition in the yard, a, a cloth partition that was four feet tall. Well, of course, she easily scaled that. So to, that was just to kind of see if we was, if this was blocked, would this be better? Well, that didn't work because she quickly sailed across it. The five foot one that was cloth, we kind of took some poles to support it. It worked for a little while until she sailed across that. And she then, five yeah, she jumped it. I, I'm trying to think if it might have been a few, you know, I'm five foot four. If it was like a couple inches shy where between the poles. Hmm. But that was kind of like, okay, now she's never jumped over our fence yet, but it's just this sort of feeling. It is a four foot fence. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we will abide by whatever your decision is, of course. Um, but it was just. Kind of like, you know, uh, just something we were hoping to someday be able to uh, just get some peace and have her be outside a little bit more. She really isn't outside very much, of course, because and that might help if she could run around outside and get some of that energy out. But you know, we cert- and we cannot take her out of the fence. That she would not do well walking. We tried muzzling, hoping that that would, but. Uh, it's she's just so strong I don't know we just she gets out of thing I don't know we just have not mastered that anyway it's just not a good feeling to take her out of the fence under you know we maybe we need to master that but it it I just don't think that would work but anyway so we appreciate your consideration and uh, those bamboo things oh last thing is the bamboo <coughs> things were also an attempt and it did help it did help while they were up <laughs> of course they blew down and so um, that is no longer there far there's more there now in the picture than there are up and that's uh, there's just some in a corner that's a back corner away from the house that uh, is left and they will be I'm sure quickly blown down it was just like um, an experiment to see it did help, but anyway, we thank you for your consideration so much. So you will be putting the polar fence yeah. around the inter- and closing the entire. It would be area. the exact same place. Okay. Uh, yeah, the exact same place as the picket, which feels very, you know, like wasteful to take down a good fence. But uh, you know, it was it, it's the same place. It would be a six foot vinyl fence. I think. It would probably weather better over time, but it's expensive, you know, and, and so we're just waiting for your guidance on this, if, you know, whatever your okay. decision is. And any questions, I can, okay. yeah, anything else. In the, the actual yeah. location of the existing fence, um, when it was originally put in, it yes. has the proper setbacks on, uh, it, the, according, on the property? That's my understanding. Uh, Potter Fence built it. And uh, they took care of this part of it. Was it different? Did you change the bylaws like in 19 or 20 for this a little bit or no? No. Okay. Okay. 
Well, anyway, that's. Corner um, lots have always had two front yard setbacks. Yeah. What's there? Oh, corner lots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did not know that, but I our previous dog was older, and this was never an issue. I've never had a dog like this before. <laughs> But anyway, we will yeah. abide by your guidance. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Dogs are like people. They all have their own personality. Yeah, so. true, true. <laughs> true. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else wishing to speak for? Okay. Thank you. Anyone have uh, comments to the contrary or uh, would like to add any to anything to her testimony? Not hearing anything, we'll close the public portion uh, and open it for debate. Um, don't we have something, or did it get changed back on putting any fences in the drainage easement? Yeah, that did get changed back. Um, if you remember, we tried to work with the county to kind of enforce that. Um, they were not interested in doing so, despite what they had said earlier, we can, and we, we certainly can't enforce it. Um, we don't have the- You say can or can't? We cannot. We don't have the authority really to enforce that. Okay. Um, so we removed it from the code. It's no longer- Okay. Yeah. I know we had, had some discussion right. on that. I, I mean- the, It was the county's idea to- Yes. I. And then they decided not to? They, I believe the issue is they do not have the personnel to- To, to enforce. To enforce it. And so they said, well, I mean, you just got to put work on our plate that we can't, that we can't Bless do. Ours. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Max, earlier you said it was 12 foot from the edge of the sidewalk. Yeah. Being picky, that's 11 and a half foot, not 12 on okay. that diagram. So, is that fence, existing fence, truly, I mean, fence companies have screwed us before. And if it is 11 and a half feet and not 12 feet, as we believe it is, then what could be done um, is a variance would need to be also requested to. Uh, as long as you put it in there to put it exactly where the other fence is, wouldn't that cover? I believe, and actually, you know, you know, something. If they're they're taking the old if fence out, if they're going to take the old fence out, yeah, I, yeah, I would say foot. actually the better solution is to say, hey, it you will be sure it's twelve feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it will okay. be. Okay. Now. I, you know, I'll say that we, this, tr this whole thing triggered a, a kind of investigation. We found that a lot of fences in this neighborhood were kind of permitted one way and then built another way. And we think a certain fence provider, I'm not trying to, you know, many anyone's reputation, um, handled many of these cases and maybe was just unaware or I don't know. Well, I wonder. We know we've had a lot of fence cases, and and generally it's a dog and everything else. And right now we got a three foot, and it, and it, it just seems like that maybe that's too short. That possibly we shouldn't change that, at least to four foot, and then and that might take care of almost ninety percent of it or whatever. I don't know. No, and I, it's something that we've talked about uh, internally, whether or not we try to modify PUDs with a lot of corner lots to include language or whether we modify the actual code language to say, okay, in the absence of, like if staff determines that there is no um, line of sight issues, that that won't be an issue, that the frontage won't be an issue. We're trying to figure out how to address it just like we did with the accessory structure size, yes. we recognize yes. there's too many of these cases. Yes. Because uh, a four foot fence could, in some cases, be a line of sight issue. Yeah, depending on the, the right. grade depending of the Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But I mean, the same thing, a three foot could, could you know sure. what I mean, it just depends. Sure. Or a hedge or, or anything You know, like this that. one wasn't a line of sight issue because it was a picket fence. Right. So you could see through it. Uh, yeah. um, so the drainage easements, nothing. Uh, and we'll just make a condition to put it in the same footprint or no. 12 well, feet from the yeah. sidewalk. To meet codes. Yeah. Yeah. To meet our, our... Yeah. It must meet all other uh, code specifications except for this variance for the height in the front yard. Do we have any, any neighbors uh, make any comments? No. In fact, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, some of the 
previous variance cases are neighbors. Um, there's a lot of fences in this area with similar fences. I haven't heard from any, well, there was one case where someone called and when we explained what we were doing, they were like, oh, okay, fine, thanks. Um, okay. So no, no negative comments have I heard. And the utilities are all within that 10 foot easement, so we don't have to worry about that. Well, they still need to get it marked by oops before they start digging. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Please. The fence company knows that. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> many of them don't. Call them. <laughs> okay. My, my okay. Power line. They mark uh, one other suggestion this is sort of off the. They mark it. Uh, on, on the big dog issue. Yes, sir. I have a big dog. <laughs> Invisible fence works very well. Uh, they learn it very quickly and also the pinch collar that doesn't hurt the dog and you can walk that dog all over the neighborhood and it, she won't pull you down. I have an 80 pound Weimaraner and a five foot tall wife <laughs> and it is night and day difference using that pinch collar. The dog. It, doesn't, the dog. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt them. People think it does. Anybody that's ever used, used it says, oh my God, it's night and day different. So just two suggestions that you might try for, and usually as they get a little older, they calm down a little. Uh, okay. It took eight years for mine to calm down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, are, th are there any follow. other questions or comments? Nope. Uh, would someone like to try to make a motion? You have any conditions? No. Any conditions? The only condition is that the fence be put as, it can't be as submitted because this may not be right. Well, well I think, I think as long as you do yeah. just the height and it has to be, I think that's what he said, it had to be the the other conditions are the same. We're, all, we're only so giving a variance for the and we want the we want the fence to be down at the ground, not six or eight inches above the ground. Six foot, max. Gotcha. From the ground. From the ground. Yeah. Not space it up a foot or six inches. So could I suggest a condition? I think we kind of hit on what I think the wording might be, would be that the fence must adhere to all other facets of the Beaver Creek Township Zoning Resolution. The fence must be installed within the required setbacks. Just all other conditions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, does that need to be a condition? Yes, it does. All right. I make a motion to. Uh, let's see. I guess we need to put the condition. I make a motion to approve. Eight fifty-eight. Case, case number eight fifty-eight with uh, one condition that the fence is put. Uh, it, the, the new fence is located. Uh, within a setback, uh, setbacks established by the township. Uh, so if the setback is 12 feet, and your existing fence is 11.6. You need to when you put the new one in, make sure it's 12 feet. Absolutely. I will. From the inside edge of the sidewalk. Absolutely. And then you have to be uh, pretty sure 10 feet off the rear property line. No, no, nope. it can what? be on the property line. On the property line. Okay, that's right. You're right. You're right. They <clears> change <throat> that. Okay, so just that. If, if that's the only issue we have, then that, 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 that's the only condition. Motion's been made. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been seconded. Can I add? Somebody add one Mr. more Pete? condition. Yes. Mr. Huntsman. Yes. You want to add Mr. Hammer? I call for uh, uh, yes. Mr. Markinsick? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do very quickly is we're going to give you a um, yes, a quick one. Okay. 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 Uh, we're going to fill out. It's basically like a no, temporary. Some notice <laughs> of our decision, basically. Um, so I just need to write the conditions. That's just, that's the first place. 
I understand that. We've seen people. Well, we, I know we have. I know we have. Because you're six inches because you're so. a little longer because it's a big dog and you're, then you're at six foot six. Mm -hmm. See, where do you stop? Yeah. That's all. I mean, there's a yeah. CYA. Yeah. Understood. That's cover all angles. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know which one you ask. So while we're finishing coming. up with the second issue, this must be the code. Okay. This small delay uh, with doing the signing of the paperwork and everything is actually for your benefit because that if, if it's approved or denied, then you have the uh, necessary documentation to proceed or to, to walk out. Okay. But it takes a little time. <laughs> You're also welcome to head out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, okay. Fifteen feet. Fifteen feet. All right. Would you hey, go to the next case, eight fifty-nine? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's trying up here as well. He's trying. Read the uh, public notice, which in this case will also serve as the stack report. A request was made by property owners Brent and Jacqueline Maxted, I think, for a property located at 2232 Wild Dance Trail. Parcel ID number B03000200320000. The nature of the request is to seek a variance from the maximum height of fencing in the required front yard of a residential lot, per Article 18.062. No fence, wall, or hedge shall rise over three feet in height with any required front yard. The owners wish to install a fence that is five feet in height. And I'll go ahead and put this up. Um, as we have done in the past, our uh, not submitting a staff report indicates that we have no concerns or issues with the case. Okay. Um, so here is the uh, plot plan. Do. Sorry. So the fence is where? So uh, right. two dotted lines. Here. Here. That one. Yeah. 
And he goes, this is where they're proposing it, right? Like is this that. another one that goes all the way around the backyard? Uh, yes, I believe it does <coughs> connect five, back five here. Foot. I, I read in here you want it to be compatible with in the neighbors have the similar so neighbor behind you or whatever has it set back about the same. Okay. This is their oh the, the property. Yeah. Property right here. Are oh, you talking one across the street from you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that one also. Section of code in case we needed to reference that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any other pictures to share? I do. Uh, some that we took. This always closes out on me if you don't do anything in it for a little while. And while you're digging that, uh, was, was there anything uh, submitted in writing? from any, uh, for any of the applicants in Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, they, so wait, do you mean by other folks or by right, the applicants? Right, by other folks. No, I received no kind of communication about okay. these. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, again, a photo from kind of the apex of the corner here. Um, as you can see, it's, it's pretty far away. I mean, the driveway would be in front of at the proposed fence. Um, And uh, this is kind of more a, a sidelong view from that same area. Um, this was pretty handy because this car is a pretty <coughs> rough estimation of where roughly the fence is going to be. I mean, the front of this car bumper is pretty close to where the, the edge of the fence is going to come here. <laughs> I would imagine, I mean, if you can imagine kind of the fence post maybe right about here going back. Um, I don't think this car is going to have any line of sight issues. Uh, with this intersection here. Um, this is from across the street, looking directly at the driveway. Uh, from basically behind where that car was in the previous photo. Again, uh, kind of from the side, basically, the front of the car would be about right here. And uh, this was uh, to show kind of, this is basically from that same angle looking towards <coughs> the rear property line here. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have anyone wishing to speak for the case? Hello, my name is Jacqueline Konexted and we live at 2232 Wild Dance Trail. I solemnly swear that the statements I'm about to make before the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Okay. Hi, Brent Konexted, uh, 2232 Wild Dance Trail. I solemnly swear that the statements I'm about to make to the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Thank you. Great, thank you. <laughs> So, like you said, another golden doodle. Uh, we actually uh, <laughs> added her. <laughs> yeah. That might be the problem. We added her to our family earlier this year, um, and already um, at four months old, she's a jumper. Uh, so we really feel that a three-foot fence would not keep her safely contained within our yard. Um, and we did a lot of research too, like what height should we should we ask for? Um, research said six foot, but we feel like a five foot fence would be plenty uh, to keep her safely contained. Um, the other reason why we are asking for the five foot fence is we are planning within the next two years to put a pool in the backyard, mm -hmm. uh, which there is the minimum height variance of five feet Correct. for that. Yeah. Um, and then also our proposal, um, as you can see, we're planning on doing actually an additional setback to 15 feet as opposed to 12, 
just to bring it back a little bit further. Okay. Um, the fencing that we are choosing to do um, is a black aluminum fence, which obviously is very aesthetically pleasing, low maintenance, and really feel that it would bring value to our property as well as the community. Um, but again, our sole purpose is to keep her uh, safe, contained within our yard, not to be a nuisance to other neighbors, mm -hmm. um, but also to follow the rules um, of the zoning committee. So we appreciate your consideration. Uh, where you're putting the fence, do you know if there are any utilities that run through there? No, sir. There are none. Okay. Again, we'll call loops and make sure. <laughs> oh, um, well, yeah. But I don't <laughs> anticipate, yeah. Our I certainly don't anticipate any utilities, water or electric going through. Um, because we did at one point have an electric fence years ago when we had a different dog and I installed that in the same general area of where this is going okay. uh, and there were no issues. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Just want to be sure. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. Okay. No. Looks pretty straightforward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Anyone wishing to speak against or have uh, uh, neutral comments? Not hearing any other testimony, <coughs> we'll close the public portion. Um, having a 15 foot setback is a little more appropriate. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Myron was mentioning, should, is it 15 foot all the way back? It's, it seems like it. Yeah, it, angles, it angles a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so Would it'll it actually be more pleasing if it was. <coughs> yes, it's going to be further as the yard you think gets. do you want to parallel the sidewalk correct yes okay so okay 15, 15 from this to this length. okay yeah they parallel the sidewalk would be nice yeah correct yeah yeah okay so we can take it as it is yeah What's that? you said is it going to be a privacy type fence no, no. it's it's a black aluminum see-through okay. okay with puppy pickets <laughs> Dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's very sweet. Yeah, so most of them are. Any questions? I have no questions. Any other questions? I have no questions. No, no. I want to make a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion that case number 859 uh, be approved as submitted. I'll second it. Motion's been made and seconded. Call for roll. Mr. Pete? Yes. Mr. Huntsman? Yes. Mr. Hemmer? Yes. Mr. Return, I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'll okay. get it. Martinsic. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Board. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill these out for you real quick and uh, give you a signed Super copy. Easy. Thank you very much. Golden Oh, yeah. I have well, a little different, I uh, yeah. in my well, in well, the well, house that butts well, me well, in the well, back well, there, they well, raise well, golden doodles. Well, and I would say four of them are the meanest guys. Really? And, really? But one was you know, halfway happy. Huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Well, you saw a different. Shelly Wilkins. Yeah. Yeah. Shelly Wilkins. Oh, yeah. And Shadow is. Oh, yeah. Night and day. Night and Same day. breed of dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you ever consider going to stand up? No, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. Thanks, sir. All right. Yeah. Um, like I said, hopefully we'll have a really by the end of the week, but you can move forward with this. Um, if not, it would be early next week. Okay. Thanks for that. Thank you. That looks really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. walk the dog, they know this ball. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, 
A uh, request was made by property owners John and Kim Taylor for the property located at 2296 Annandale Place. Parcel ID uh, B03000200511 The nature of the request is to seek a variance from the requirements that pools, including the pool apron, shall be no closer than 10 feet to any property line, and that's per Article 18.23.1B. We also prepared a short staff report for case 860. <clears throat> so again, uh, the introduction, owners John and, John and Kim Taylor, 2296 Annandale Place. It's located within the Country Club of the North subdivision. Um, they want to build a pool in their backyard, the apron of which would be located closer than 10 feet to the property line. Um, that violates Article 18.23.1. And so a variance was requested to allow the construction. Uh, for a little bit of context, the applicant has received approval from the Country Club of the North Homeowners Association. Um, obviously, we are not uh, beholden to homeowners association decisions. However, they do represent you know, uh, the, the acceptance of the neighborhood, essentially. Um, proof of this approval is included in the case packet for you. Um, it simply shows again that it's likely acceptable to the mm -hmm. residents of Country Club of the North. Not all, certainly. That's, they don't speak for everybody, but they speak for a majority. Um, the applicant claims that the variance is needed in order to place the pool far enough away from the existing deck such that, uh, quote, kids and guests don't try to jump from the deck into the pool. Um, the pool apron only encroaches the property line shared with the Country Club of the North golf course, so it doesn't, it encroaches on the rear property line, not on property line shared with other residential neighbors. Um, staff does not review the proposed pool apron as a health, safety, or welfare concern. The applicant has obtained a permit for the five foot fence required to enclose the pool as well. Um, our we, staff recommends approval of the proposed variance. Uh, again, we don't feel it represents a detriment to health, safety, or welfare of the residential subdivision in which it's located. Uh, One more time, Max, you said that on either side where the neighbors are, not the country code, but they're, they meet the 10 foot setback? Yes, correct. It's only it's on the only the country the club of the north? Yes, okay. sir. So how much does it increase? We will find that out. Yeah. And okay. Yeah, let me bring that up for you guys. Just. Okay, so this is their rear property line that's shared with Country Club of the North. This is the fence here. And Country Club of the North requires them set it back slightly from their property line. Uh, that's part of the HOA rules. Here's the pool apron, and it, it doesn't encroach on this side, it just encroaches here. Uh, or I'm sorry, you know, once you get back here, there's only a couple of feet from where the apron will be to where the property line is located. However, it will be within the fence that's going to enclose everything. Okay, you're showing that the fence is how many feet back from the property line per the HOA? Uh, it's usually feet. Yeah, this seems to suggest, now it, it seems to vary because there's a bit of an angle here. This distance is marked at three feet six inches. Okay. And it does, you know, it, it looks like it might flare out closer to four here and maybe about three or a little bit less here. All right. Do you know how wide the apron is? Uh, it is, I believe this yeah. suggests it's six, six feet. feet wide. Six feet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then this appears to be nine feet. Okay. Now this, this, this plot here, this was truly surveyed <laughs> Remember we've had cases where the pool Fair person question. didn't use oh, they had to move, it. Yeah. They had to move yes. the pool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in that same neighborhood. Same they neighborhood. moved the pool. It was our neighborhood. Yeah. Oh. It was their well, next neighborhood. Two houses up. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You have pictures? I do. Pictures or not? Yes, sir. Pictures are good. Hold on just a moment. And these were taken today. Um, so you can see this is the uh, 
if you're looking at the house, this is the left side of the house. Uh -huh. um, it's some interesting topo here. It's not a lot of, there's not a lot of real room left back here. Um, so I think they're trying to maximize what space they have to, that's any kind of flat back here. And this is kind of a little bit more of the, so their fence is gonna be located right on the outside, or forgive me, is that correct on the outside of this out it's of this rock? The inside. The inside. The planting. We okay. got a four foot fence. It, it looks a mess because we just redid we our deck um, over the, the winter, but there was a four foot fence. And wait, it's wait, 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 wait. Okay. That's good testimony, okay? Okay, we'll, okay. <laughs> hold, hold on to that. Uh, so yeah, it'll be on the uh, inside of the planting. Um, from the back corner here. And just basically moving around the, the okay. perimeter of the yard here, so. Data survey. Hmm? And yet, survey. these are the survey stakes, as far as I can mm -hmm. tell. Survey. That's good, that's good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, Kim Taylor, at 2296 Annandale Place, solemnly swear that the statements I'm about to make before the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are to the are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Um, so we live in, my husband and I, he was supposed to be here but got caught up with the kids. But um, we have three kids. We have a son who's eight and then twins who are six. And I don't know if you can tell from the pictures, but well, our backyard is very narrow and our deck is actually a second story deck. And we're worried about the kids or any of their friends jumping from the deck down into the pool. So we wanted to push the pool back, but by doing so, it pushes the travertine into to the 10-foot setback. And so we did have a survey done to make sure everything was inside the property line. So we're not encroaching over a property line, just into a setback. And um, again, the neighborhood approved, and um, we've talked to our neighbors all around us, and they're all fine with it. So we're just hopeful that you'll let us move it back further so that um, we can keep it a safe distance. And it is sloped, so there are some grading issues. And um, so that, anyway, but we're just hopeful that um, we can move it safely away from the house. Okay. okay. But the pool itself is basically no closer to eight foot to the property? Oh, no, the pool itself is not within the setback. It's just the apron. You're planning on putting this in this year? If it in approved? June. Okay. Hopefully in June, it, unless that slips. I know they're busy, but. Okay. Cool. I'm sure they are. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. We actually met with them in October of 2020. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, a little lead time there. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you for your time and well, for volunteering no, your time. No, so. that, that's, that's what we're here for. Okay, I have to ask a question. Anybody wishing to speak against or have any neutral comments? All right, we'll close the public portion and uh, open it for the board. We had this discussion about apron encroaching on a property line before. Yes, we have. And you can build a driveway right up the to the property line. Yes. Why, why is this an issue? Because, because it's wrote in the book. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's really why. Okay. Right. No. But, but you're right, a driveway or anything like that. If you, you could have had a driveway go around the house, park there right next to it, it wouldn't mean anything. Right. But. You could call it a driveway. Well, you know, you they, they, they call it. But uh, anyway, that's just. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with the apron uh, whatsoever. Uh, yeah, as long as the pool's set back. This, the, and it's real close. The pool's real close to the ten feet, isn't it? Correct. Uh, 
I see it's at 11. Uh, it shows the pool's 11, 11 feet. Yeah, 11. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. probably, I bet it gets right to about 10 at the minimum distance as the yeah. property angles a little bit. Okay. So, yeah. I know it's pretty close. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay. Just but, just so they have it surveyed, okay? Oh, yeah. that's, but that's, even that's, the apron, they, they're going to yeah. have all three feet, isn't that correct? Three point six feet. Yeah, between yeah. it even looks like apron. between four and three feet, depending yeah. on where it's located. Yeah. Uh, I, I I don't have an issue with it at all. Okay. I don't know what what they do. Motion. Motion. And the fence is there is going to be a fence around there. Right? Yes. Five foot five. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Think so. I make a motion we approve case 860 as presented. I'll second. Motions? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Hudson? Yes. Mr. Henry? Yes. Mr. Martinsick? Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you board. Now, if you're in Sylvania, oh, it's Martinsick. Martinsick. Oh, really? Martinsick. That's even harder to say. When my son's in. At his house. He's my teacher. <laughs> we never did see how far we were. Yeah. Them kids would definitely do it. Oh, yeah. I, I, would. Uh, I, I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I might even try to do it now. Uh, might have to put some razor wire up on the deck there. To <laughs> <laughs> they might do a running jump, you know. Board, uh, board how far away? How far away is your pool going to be from the deck? Um, I think it will end up being at least ten feet. Oh, okay. so that's great. Okay. Unless you got some real athletes. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can see a slide or something in <laughs> the deck. Oh, yeah. There, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I don't know that the would go for, uh, but I did cross my mind. Oh, a little homemade. Yeah. Don't give them any ideas, okay? <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh. The kiddos, will figure, the kiddos will figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's we didn't have that recording ready for the second one. Is this another oh, fence? Oh, so you know what? Yeah, another fence. Yeah. What we actually had you sign was the one we pre made. Yeah. Oh, this is one second or seven. Oh, yeah. This is one. I think this is one that was already up. Uh, this one will be their attention. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Not a problem. To the final case. Yes. Okay. So, case number 861. Okay. All right. A, uh, so, case number 861, a request made by property owners Christopher and Amy Weinerstrom for the property located at 1469 Red Barn Way, Greene County, uh, parcel ID number. B03 0002032000950. The nature of the request is to seek a variance from the maximum height <coughs> of fencing in the required front yard of a residential lot. Per Article 18.062, no fence wall or hedge shall rise over three feet in height within any required frame. And uh, we did prepare a staff report. This one's got a little bit more information here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me once. All right, so <clears throat> the applicants, Christopher and Amy Wennerstrom, uh, replaced an existing fence. It was originally constructed taller than what was permitted according to their original fence permit issued on September 7th, 2001. Um, uh, the applicants replaced the fence in early 2020, so a considerable amount of time has passed from their original permit to when they replaced the fence. Um, they replaced it up to a uniform height of four foot six. It had previously been between four foot six and four feet with kind of like a swoop pattern in between the um, uh, fence posts. 
Uh, this was taller than what was permitted. The original permit uh, clearly stated the fence was to be no taller than three feet in the required front yard. Um, the included plot plan showed the fence height at three feet as well and the front yard setback along Wild Dance Trail. So what was submitted to the zoning department in 2001, um, it made specific note and, and we have it in here that it was to be three feet within that required front yard. Um, we were made aware, the Community Development and Risk Department was made aware of the existing violation because of a similar request from a nearby neighbor. Again, prompted us to review fences in the area on corner lots specifically to make sure that, you know, it's a very common thing. People don't, people don't inherently think of it as a front yard, right? We, we, we understand this. Um, so we, again, found several existing fences were kind of um, built up into front yards without getting the required variance. So um, a little bit of context. It's important to consider a couple of key factors when uh, looking at this variance and, and thinking about whether or not it should be granted. So the original fence permit was issued in 2001. Staff review of practices at the time, so looking back at how this department operated in 2001, confirms that there was no zoning inspection being performed. So, um, you know, to determine whether or not structures were actually built as they were set in in the permit. Um, zoning inspections have since been Im implemented in the permitting process they weren't performed at the time of the original application. So our department does bear some responsibility for not performing an inspection when the permit was issued. Um, we could have caught this issue a lot sooner. Certainly um, if the fence was, when it was replaced in 2020 again, could have been a, a point for us to say, hey, whoa, wait a minute. Um, however, replacing a fence exactly as it stands is not you know, so long as in the in the same location, so long as it doesn't v further violate or anything, yes. it's not something you require another permit for. So, mm -hmm. there was no reason for them to reach out and contact us if they believed their fence was already in the correct location. Correct. Um, however, the original permit is pretty clear in that the height of the fence along Wild Dance Trail was to be three feet tall. Now, again, I I can't think of any piece of paper that I have except maybe my social security card from 20 years ago. I'm just being realistic. So I don't think it's fair to expect the applicant to go look at their permit from 2001 and go, oh, okay, I remember it said three feet back then. I'm not, that's not what we're trying to say. However, um, if it, so an inspection would have simply caught that the applicant built their fence at a height taller than what was permitted. And it would have, at that time, if an inspection had performed, the same thing that's happening now would have occurred. We would have said, okay, you should apply for a variance before we say anything about whether or not to be uh, torn down or anything like that. Another factor is that, again, no permit is required to re replace a fence in the same location at the same height. So like we mentioned, um, that's why they didn't contact our department in 2020. Um, so there's no fault there. Um, that said, they did increase the height of the fence um, from what was originally, excuse me, originally permitted. If the height of the fence increases, like for instance from four foot to four and a half feet, that would have required a, uh, a, um, a revised permit. It wouldn't be a new permit application. They would just have to send us in, hey, this is the new plan. We would include that with the original permit and modify the permit. Mm -hmm. um, the per that permit was not sought or obtained. Again, it's very common for folks to not be aware of that requirement. Um, again, we don't find fault here. It's just important to note all of these things. Um, luckily, the existing fence does not appear to present any kind of line and sight impairment at the intersection of the corner of Wild Dance and Red Barn. I have photos for you to show you here. That's the primary reason that the, fi the fence height is limited in required front yards, as we've talked about earlier tonight, to promote safe traffic. Um, the edge of the existing fence is roughly 90 feet from the apex of the curb of the sidewalk at the intersection. So staff does not believe the fence to have any negative health, safety, or welfare impacts on the neighboring residents. Okay, so our recommendation. We want to make an important distinction in our recommendation. Again, staff does not see the existing fence as having a, any kind of detrimental effect. The fence location doesn't present any line of sight obstructions at the intersection of, Red, of, of Wild Dance and Red Barn. Staff would not object to a variance being granted. We wouldn't object. 
but because of the um, multiple violations of the permit, we, we have to stop short of recommending approval. Um, so we don't, because we don't want to encourage structures being built outside of what is allowed in an issued permit, whether intentionally or unintentionally, again, we firmly believe this is an unintentional mistake. We just request that any variance granted would include a condition that the existing fence be submitted as a new fence permit so that we would have a record of the fence. It couldn't just be built and then modified into the existing permit. That would clean everything up, removing the old permit and having a new fence permit for this. So that would be one condition that we would request if the variance is granted. So again, staff is leaving it up to you. I think if we've made it clear that it, we don't find it to be any kind of health, safety, or welfare concern. But again, because just like with the previous case several months ago where the fence was already built and in the, we stopped short of recommending approval for that very reason. We, wanna, we don't wanna encourage people to build first and then go in for forgiveness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I hope you understand that distinction. Uh, and also to the applicants, I hope you understand that distinction. It is not any kind of finding fault. It is just something that we feel we have to do as a department. So I would be glad to answer any questions. I am going to bring up a couple of things here as well before, uh, before that. So OK, so we have the plot plan here. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the original fence permit. So I did want to show that again, uh, three foot high in the required front yard um, per plan. We come to what was submitted and you see that three foot high fence along Wild, wild Dance Trail. Um, and then we have the applicants, or the application here, uh, they provided some so this is a, a map of their current property from GIS. You can see the fence located here is the one that is in question. Um, and they did provide, so they're a little, they're a little dark, they're a little hard to see, um, but this is basically showing you, okay, here's where the fence was originally permitted. It's, it's in the same exact location, right, as what was permitted originally, it's just taller. Um, uh, this is pictures of what the old fence looks like versus what the new fence looks like. I think most would agree that it's a visual upgrade um, to this kind of black uh, aluminum, you know, fence style that is very common in the neighborhood as well um, at various times of the year and some cute dogs as well. <laughs> um, or is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> No one do, so it's not. No. And then uh, I do want to pull up a couple of pictures. Um, so I wasn't able to make contact with the applicant today. No one was home, so I I, I kind of basically I'll I'll show you the three pictures I did take. This is this is basically in line with the fence uh, bordering the road that we're concerned about here. Um, uh, this is a better sh of that shot, essentially, to kind of show you just, I mean, there's significant space here. Yeah. Anyone coming up this lane, I don't think is worried about what might be happening up here and seeing it or not. And again, this is kind of a view from across the street to show, okay, so the fence is about here, coming out on a plane. I don't think, again, that you know, once you once you get here and you're driving, I don't I don't think we're worried about someone blindsiding them uh, from this intersection. Mm -hmm. So, those are the photos we have for you. I'll be glad to answer any questions. No, that's pretty self-explanatory. How would uh, the applicant like to to talk? Good evening. Uh, I, Christopher Winterstrom of 1469 Red Barn Way in Beaver Creek Township, Ohio, solemnly swear that the statements I am about to make before the Beaver Creek Township Board of the Zoning Appeals are the truth to the best of my knowledge and belief. Thank you. Um, 
first of all, thank you for your time and consideration. Um, I think it's clear that we should have been here before we uh, we put the fence up, and we just didn't. I mean, realize what was what was going on and the differences and and where it should be and such like that. Um, we tried to provide some pictures where I uh, you know I took some some measurements and we were between 16 and a half and 17 foot three from the from the back end of the sidewalk so we we have a little bit of a hill going down our down to the sidewalk we have four pups um, and and it's just three foot was is gonna is gonna be so hard for our for all of our pups especially our our latest one the 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 one that we showed in the pictures there so effectively we're just we're just asking for consideration we'd be happy to put in a full application with with everything that is where the fence is now and 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 how it is um we'd be more than happy to to do that it's kind of we just i guess didn't know i mean it's it's we we've been there since 2001 and do you put the original fence in the original fence was yeah the oh, okay. original fence was was there okay. um and oh, you put the original in or it was there no, no, no. We put it in okay. the 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 fence company I was or whatever. Say, you didn't do it personally. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yes, the okay. fence company put it in. Okay. Uh, and it was and it was wooden. And at the time, you know, that's the style. The style, yeah. Yeah. and with the swooping things yeah. and and all of that. Yeah. And um and more recently, and we've got um similar to the Connecteds, we've got it. It is four and a half foot we didn't even go to the five foot we've got puppy pickets on the bottom to to keep the to keep our any little dogs or or when we have another puppy um we'll we'll they'll keep them in okay. no no not right now <laughs> but at some point our, our 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 pups are getting old they're all rescues but they're getting older so at some point they're gonna they're gonna pass on okay the new fence is how tall four and a half four and a half feet, four and a half feet. and it's the black yeah. aluminum anodized. you know anodized yeah, yeah. The, the whole okay. the whole thing there okay i, I have no other questions okay, thank, you. thank you anyone else wishing to speak you have an opportunity <laughs> I'm not <good> okay <laughs> thank you though we are so intimidating, I can tell. Yeah, okay. May I speak for? Sure. Pardon? May I speak for? Yeah. Yeah? He's already sworn in. No, this is not in this case. He's still going to be sworn in. Do I need yeah. to swear in again? Yeah. <laughs> I, Brent Connected, 2232 Wild Dance Trail. Uh, solemnly swear that the statements I'm about to make before the Beaver Creek Township Board of Zoning Appeals are the truth of my best knowledge and belief. Um, I'd like to speak on behalf of Christopher and Amy. I've known them for 22, 21 years now, uh, two of the most conscientious people I've ever met. Uh, I know in my heart that they would never do anything malicious or with ill intent. Um, the reason why we wanted the fence that we just got approved for is because how beautiful theirs looks. Um, their, their, their property, their, 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 their house, everything is meticulously kept and beautiful. Uh, and I want our property to, to um, resemble theirs. So that's why we went with the style that they went with. Uh, we even contacted the same fence company that they have. Um, but again, I just want to speak uh, on their behalf. I've known them for a very, very long time. Outstanding people, outstanding community members, best neighbors we've ever had. And I know in the bottom of my heart that they would never do anything to intentionally mislead or, or, or um, askew what they're supposed to do. Pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not... Uh Hearing any other testimony, we'll close the public portion in debate. So we need to make a condition that they get a. I would appreciate a condition that they just submit permit. a new fence permit to before they go ahead and uh, you know before it's uh, the variance is uh, active. I guess.
No, just put it out there. We'll clean it up. <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna condition. You're gonna, you're gonna approve one, case number eight sixty one with one condition. With one condition. Yeah. That condition that they 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 need. must apply for it. A permit for a new fence okay. permit. For a new fence permit. For a new fence permit. Yeah. And that's it. Within so 30 days. How's within that? 30 days. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. That sounds good. Okay. okay. So Motion's been made. Seconded. I'll second it. Seconded. Would you read back the motion before we vote on it? Uh, so we'll have the motion as um, I vote to approve case, 861. case 861 with the condition that the applicant will apply for a new fence permit within 30 days. Okay. Okay. Mr. Pete? We're, we're good on yeah. that. Yes. Mr. Huntsman? Yes. Mr. Hammer? Yes. Mr. Martinsic? Yes. Thank you, board. All right. Okay. Let's get these written out. Sometimes. I would agree with you that the rules need to be looked at in, regarding the regarding the 35 foot setback on, on the side on, on what most people consider a side yard even though it is a it is a true front yard well the the we we, we need to look at them but these seem to be repetitive but they're not each one's a little different you know. I can see the problem with the vision with the with the <coughs> scene site, on the distance. Road, on the but, site distance. But couldn't we have we had that issue in another flat where they needed to chop the corner off and make it a forty five right. because you couldn't see at the stop sign. And that's so challenging. But we could possibly put something in there that he could only issue a permit if there is no noticeable line of sight problem. You know, you could uh, Leave at his discretion yeah. or something. Yeah. Like that. that would might eliminate. Yeah. That's it. But this is probably not the, third, the first fence in there that's not conforming at the moment. Oh, I'm sure there's others. I'm sure there's others. <laughs> sure there's others. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pardon? No, I can't get the neighborhood control. <laughs> hey, when, when you get the zoning inspector coming into your neighborhood, she's looking. <laughs> No, it's a very beautiful fence. Yeah, it is. We it like is. to open. Yeah. And you know, with that type of a fence, you don't get into a, a sight problem. Yeah. You generally see through it unless you've got a bunch of bushes planted. Yeah, I, 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 my point would just be it, it, would, it would make your lives easier if there was a way to not have to have everyone come in and. Oh, yeah. and well, possibly and when he reviews the, the application, if we can. Change something to where he can, uh, you at his discretion. You have some discretion as far as the site, there's that, no sight distance problem. That's really I, the only. I, I would uh, I would change the four foot and have, have discretion as far as uh, yeah yeah three foot. That's, that's my opinion. No, and I, it's, it's it's constantly after just yeah, like every, last year. Every fence, every fence. Book, when it's when it's I know, so bars. common, we need to we yeah. need to look yeah. at our rules and find out Absolutely. maybe the rules can change. You may even you may even look at something where if the open area is larger than the closed area meaning like it's it's got small like the aluminum fences and most of it's open mm -hmm. versus either a, a, a slatted one which is small openings or even a, a okay. privacy yeah. style yeah. and and you'd be able to see you'd be able to see through it more. right just remember corner locks have two front uh, yards <laughs> <laughs> anywhere you go Anywhere you go. <laughs> corner lots are nice, like but. A great thing when we got there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? A corner lot seemed like a great thing when we got there because you have right. to oh, yes. right. more. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So much. Okay. Take care. Thanks for getting that squared away. Have a good night. We, uh -huh. we don't edit this book. I do. Is it online? How can I get well, it? Uh, sure, I'll tell you what. We've had discussions on this call tomorrow. Okay. It is online if you okay. want to okay. explore the Beaver Creek but, but, right. but if you want some direction, just give a shout. Great. Uh, and, and Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is a group that I did. It, it, it almost takes an act of Congress to get in and change it now. Thank you very much, Board. Uh, do we have any new business? I don't believe there were minutes. Was there minutes submitted? I didn't think so. Uh, we don't have any minutes for you to look at. However, I've had election of officers on the agenda for a couple of months now.
So oh, yeah. I think we should do that. Um, it is something that we should do each year. <clears throat> In retrospect, it was not done last year. I'd like to nominate Brent Huntsman for president. Hey. <laughs> I'll second that. No, wait a second, guys. <laughs> I tried to do it while you, I wanted You're to make sure they wouldn't just do it while you weren't here. Well, we probably ought to wait. Any objections, Pete? Mr. Huntsman? Pete? Nope. Okay. Nope. You want to continue doing it? People, I am going to retire someday. Okay. Well, uh, yep, tell us when. Well, that'll have to be after that 18 mile bike ride. <laughs> 1800. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I will accept it, but please understand that I, there, will, there will be a finality to this. Okay? So, Mr. Huntsman, we will. what I'd like to uh, express to you and the whole board is that um, this year, and actually we're, uh, we're just about to finalize the contract with Planning Next, that people are going to help us up, update our comprehensive land use plan. Part of that includes some pretty significant community outreach. We hope to use that as an opportunity to recruit new members, both for the Zoning Commission and BZA, people that show up and are interested in planning mm -hmm. activities, I think that's a good base to start trying to look at people who might be the next generation of BZA and ZC. So I want you to know that we're aware that there's, I mean, even the, the best of us need to rest from time to time. So mm -hmm. um, I hope you understand that we're aware and it's our goal that uh, you don't have to tell us you're done. You know what I mean? That we can say, hey, we've got a full board, and you can say, you know what? Great. I think I can step away. That's our goal. So. Okay. So when are you trying to do this recruiting? It's going to be, so we're going to have a couple of um, outreach sessions, I guess, community engagement oh, sessions as okay. part of our, we'll invite the whole community basically to engage with us about, hey, what do you want to see in your community? I think the people that come to that, are probably more likely than your average resident to serve on a board. So we're just going to also say, hey, one of the survey questions, would you be interested in serving on one of the volunteer Is that something we can attend? Oh, absolutely. You guys pretty much expected to attend. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. You mentioned that you well, were that. hoping to have a meeting between the various board and the zoning board? That is something I'd like to do. So you were going to look and see if we could ever do a when it, works, works. when it works out and as you know it's been it's been a little rough actually both boards at the zoning commission um, missed quorum two months ago and last month there was only three of them one of their members terms ended and they decided not to continue They're just too busy with work um, it's still on my mind it's oh, just okay. unfortunately not been okay. a great time this okay. year to get it done so so let me ask you a question we can't be on both I don't know. I don't think so. It Why makes that? sense that, well, because the decisions of the Zoning Commission will probably end up in the Board of Zoning. That, essentially, the Zoning Commission created the zoning resolution. So if those same people were determining whether or not you could have a variance from it, there might be, in essence, a conflict of interest. That, that would be my assumption. Um, not saying that a person couldn't compartmentalize themselves, but that's probably why they disallow. So you're saying the answer is no? Well, I ask, ask. I'm going to find out from Don. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask, ask, we'll ask, ask Don. Find out. I mean, yeah. if, they're having if they're having issues getting people to sign up on the zoning commission, I'm interested to do that. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, you know, I, I can do both. Yeah. I, okay. Thank you very much. You know, um, I will. If that's a possibility. Yeah, let me check it with Don. It makes logical sense why they wouldn't, but. If they do, then, I mean, we have an open spot right now that needs filled, frankly. Yeah. So, um, okay, thank you very much. So, we, I think we should do a formal, if you, if you don't mind, a formal election of officers. Um, just to, just go ahead and seal that. I know you agreed to do it, but can I get a motion second? And, uh, you, you made the motion. I made the motion. Somebody second. I'll second it. Brent. Brent Hughesman is the president for the next 10 years. <laughs> is there a term for it? Is it just a year? Or it's it's, it's until year. the next year's election of officers. Right. Mr. P? Yes. Mr. Huntsman? Abstain. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Hammer? Yes. Mr. Bartinsa? Yes. 
So Thank it didn't you, work at all, did it? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> and the last order of business is adjournment. I think I think it's a conflict. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll right. second. Good. Any opposed? Excellent. All in favor. All in favor. Bye.